Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I just wanted to cover a quick update with the battery status on my i3 and uh, review what's going on. So I went through the warranty uh, information for the 2015 version since uh, mine went into service around uh, January of 2016. And uh, it looks like the coverage begins when it goes into service based on the warranty information uh, data. And uh, the high voltage battery is warranted for eight years, 100,000 miles, unless you're in a uh, carb state. And it goes up to 10 years or 150,000 miles. Although it's not clear if that's due to defects with the battery or the uh, uh, warranty of the 70% uh, of the life of the or power output of the battery. If you look at the uh, range I'm currently getting, I've lost about somewhere between 12 and 15% in the ranges since uh, I purchased the car when I had about 20,000 miles on it. And uh, if you look at this uh, by the battery Kappa Max uh, in the secret menu, you can see I looked at different you know, ways of looking at it and it seems to be tracking with mileage the best. And based on this, it looks like I'm going to get down to the 70% uh, of the original 18.8 .8, uh, kilowatt hours lifetime around 13.1 kilowatt hours around 40,000 miles use. If I look at the uh, MI3 app data, it says I'm currently state of health around 73%. And if I look at the max and min uh, state of charge values at 100% state of charge, uh, it's only charging up to 70.8% currently. So a little bit of a concern. Uh, the app hours is between 40 and 41.8, it looked like, from the app. So based on this, the summary says I'm still getting a decent range of between 60 and 70 miles, uh, although it has degraded since I bought it. Uh, battery Kappa Max looks like it's going to get to 70% around 40,000 miles, which uh, I've got about six months left before uh, I hit that limit. So based on that information, it looks like I probably need to start planning on uh, scheduling a BMW service center battery check around December before the... Uh, original warranty period expires. Now I do drive around in, in case anybody's wondering, I do drive around mostly in Eco Plus mode, Eco Pro Plus, and uh, pretty gentle for the most part, although I do tend to charge with a level 2 charger most of the time, and uh, uh, for many of the charging sessions I tended to charge it pretty high, uh, up near 100%, so even though it has low fairly low mileage for the uh, year model. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the next six months. I'll keep you guys posted and uh, let you know the uh, results and whether I go ahead and uh, do a battery check before the end of the original warranty period. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more content.